One of my viewers, who goes by the handle We Are Not Alone 69 on YouTube, commented that his Harbor Freight Central Machinery 8 inch 5 speed drill press was running hotter than expected. Now we both have the same drill press, item number 60238, so I thought we would take a look at mine to see if it runs hot too. Now I borrowed a Fluke 59 Max infrared thermometer from a friend of mine so we could look at a number of temperature readings over time. So let's take a look at my drill press and see if we get the same kind of results that uh, we are not alone 69 experienced. First let's take a look at how much air the fan is actually moving through the motor housing. And as you can see here, it doesn't seem like it moves very much at all. It's not very efficient. It barely pulls on the tissue, and this is exactly what We Are Not Alone 69 experienced with his drill. You know, I'm wondering how much of this is the fan in the motor housing as opposed to just heat rising through the motor. I've removed the cowling that covers the fan and laid the drill press face down so that we can take a closer look at the fan itself. And as you can see, the fan blades are straight, which means they are not really designed to pull very much air into the motor. Again, I'm wondering how much of the suction pulling on the tissue in the earlier shot comes from the heat of the motor causing air to rise through the housing. I wanted to see what the fan looked like while it was running without the cowling, so let's turn it on. Now that we know what the fan is doing, or I should say not doing, let's start looking at the impact the efficiency of the fan has on the motor temperature over time. The first thing we want to do is capture the temperature with the motor off. And it looks like it's running at about 83 degrees which is probably the ambient room temperature in my garage. Let's go ahead and turn on the motor with no load and uh, begin taking readings every 60 seconds out to about 10 minutes and see what kind of temperature readings we get on this motor. Uh, so in just a moment, I'm going to accelerate this out. So we're jumping over to one minute. So now we're at the one minute mark and you'll notice with the laser dot, I'm taking readings at the top and the bottom of the housing. So at the top, it's 90 something degrees. And at the bottom, what do we get? 112, let's take a look. 112 degrees at the bottom. That's uh, starting to get warm after 60 seconds. So let's uh, fast forward here, jump out to two minutes and see what kind of reading we get. And at the two minute mark, uh, just under 100 degrees at the top. 118, I think it goes all the way up. No, we got 120 degrees at this point in time. So just after two minutes of operation, you're already at 120 degrees at the bottom of this housing, which suggests to me, if you're going to run this any period of time, be careful and let it cool down before you try to move it. So let's jump forward to three minutes and see what kind of readings we get now. Um, at the top, about 100 degrees. Let's go down to the bottom, 128. 128 degrees already in just three minutes. Uh, 100 degrees at the top. Let's go back down to the bottom again. 129. 130 degrees at uh, three minutes. So let's fast forward to four minutes and see what we have. At four minutes, we're getting uh, just about the same reading at the top. 136, 137 at the bottom. Uh, let's see if we go any higher at this point. Uh, 104 at the top, uh, 138 at the bottom, 138, and let's fast forward again to five minutes. See what we get at five minutes. All right, what do we have here? 100 and something at the top, down at the bottom already, 145 degrees at the bottom, 145.6. 146. Uh, getting pretty hot. Getting pretty hot at five minutes. Let's jump forward to six minutes and see what kind of temperature we get. At six minutes, the top of the housing is still hot. 151 at the bottom already at six minutes. 
152 already. 152. We're going to go past that. Let's see. 152. Let's fast forward to seven minutes. And at seven minutes, what are we getting at the top of uh, about 100 and something degrees? 158 at the bottom at seven minutes. 158, getting hot, getting hot. So let's fast forward to eight minutes, see what we get at eight minutes. And let's see, down at the bottom, 163 degrees. 163, did I see 164? Let's jump forward to nine minutes and see what we get. At nine minutes, we're getting uh, 167 at the bottom, 168 degrees. Not very cool, 169 degrees. Let's fast forward to 10 to get our last reading. So at 10 minutes, we're getting uh, 170, what did I see, 173? I thought I saw 173, 173.8, 174, 174 degrees at the bottom. So as you can see, over a 10 minute period of time, this heats up all the way to 178 degrees. Well, we are not alone. These are the results I got with my Harbor Freight Drill Press. I hope this answers your questions and helps you in your discovery process and at the same time helps you in selecting the drill press that's right for you. If you have any questions about this video or any others for that matter, please leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I've also uploaded a number of other drill press related videos and have placed their links in the description below, so be sure to check them out. If you found this video of value, please press like. And if you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And as always, good luck on your projects. Thank you.